the larger the market. Of course, the more affordable it has to be. So especially with the coming of, up of age of middle class in China and India. <laughs> I had friends who work in private equity and did luxury goods. So, of course, you know, selling the Louis Vuitton and this transaction are extremely lucrative and they are extremely, uh, you know, there's a lot of financial engineer behind them. There is a lot of operational efficiency that doesn't interest me. And it's something that is a great part of uh, finance, but really doesn't apply to innovation, right? So innovation in general, to really work, to really create a successful company has to be, in a sense, linked to having a large market. A large market doesn't mean the 2%, right? I'll make an example. Like, I'm particularly interested in Canada because doing, you know, Snapchat of Instagram out of Canada, right? I think we missed the bus there. But uh, one of the pillars in Canada are two industries, agriculture and energy. Uh, there is so much going on in ag tech right now and in creating really a lot of uh, specific ways to preserve food longer. And with food, with a growing population being a very, very important uh, uh, problem, I would say. So that is an area where you have you can have a, a very big impact, where affordability and accessibility of food, and that's where innovation is really very much goes hands in hands in the fact that then uh, my technology, my company will be particularly successful and sell to a lot of people. Uh, whether I think from day one is this going to mean that the prices will go down, so they are more accessible to people, I can only think larger market, lower prices. Thank <laughs> you.